Hello, welcome to Silavi Tarot. I hope everyone is well. So today we are going to take a deeper look in love. And since we're in this new beautiful energy, we're just going to see what's going on with you in love. Okay, moving forward here. All right. And we'll also take a peek and look at what your person may be thinking as well. Okay. Um, also towards the end, we'll have a preview for the extended. The link is below where we will look deeper into uh, what your person's thinking in terms of this um, separation if you're in one and what is next coming in for this week into the weekend or even for the month of October. We'll look into that as well. So link is below. Okay, and whatever else spirit wants to show us in the extended. And also, if you're interested in a personal reading, all of that's below. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's going on. What is the new energy for love? What is this new energy for love, spirit? Waiting. Okay, so someone here, what is this, a stalemate? So for some of you in this new vibration, it's, mm, we're waiting on a message here. I'm waiting for someone to come in and express something um, substantial. So for a lot of you here, I feel like the wait is over. Honestly, that's what I'm getting. I feel like the wait is over. I feel like you've been waiting in the past for somebody and you're at a point where you're just saying to yourself, well, I'm not going to wait in vain. I'm not going to wait in the energy of you know, um, high expectations. I'm going to open myself up to love. So a lot of you here, there is, um, an energy of love that's coming in your way, especially if you manifested during this new moon. I hope you did. I hope you did. Um, cause what it, next week, I mean, next month we have the eclipse, but I hope you really manifested. I hope you really put your intentions out there and you're ready for this new amazing cycle. Um, again, as I stated, I feel like the wait is over, but I'm getting this energy that someone's waiting for, waiting for you to do a little bit more or they're waiting for you to express something to them. I feel like there could have been a conversation here and it just has been left on red or just left in the air and nobody is giving any sort of feedback within the conversation or giving any feedback in terms of closure. All right. For some of you, it's like, I've sent an email, I've sent a text, I've called, I've tried, I've done my part, but I don't feel like this is someone here that's giving me any feedback. Fine. Cool. All right. So we have true love here. Let's see what else is going on. What else is going on with love for my viewers that are watching? somebody's thinking about you i feel like someone here is thinking about you this energy to me is a very strong energy of manifestation all right that's what i'm getting i feel like a lot of you are manifesting this energy of true love here the waiting is over spirit is basically saying and i just want you to sit in this energy with me for a minute as we manifest and as we already sit in this energy of i've already received the greatest love of all right? I am love and I attract the greatest love of all. And I feel like a lot of you are just sitting in that vibration. Look at that. I'm sitting in this beautiful vibration of love. So that is beautiful. So let's see, tell me what the current energy is between my viewers and a person that they're currently connecting with. What's the current energy? Past life connection. For some of you here, you have a very, very strong bond with someone. Okay, very, very strong bond. Um, and I feel like for some of you, you may or may have not met this person as of yet here. I do see a lot of thinking about you. Um, I do feel like someone here is wondering if you moved on or if you completely um, closed out a chapter here. Okay, but I do feel like whoever it is that you've been thinking about, where you've been feeling their energy, there's been some telepathic connections. I feel like this is someone here that's been thinking about you more and more. And it's very interesting that that happens because it's like once you literally take all of that love and put it right back into yourself, um, I feel like what it happens is you attract other people to feel that way about you. So I definitely have here someone here obsessing over you. Okay. They could be thinking about you a lot, um, not able to sleep at night or you're not able to sleep at night. It's like, why am I up thinking about this person constantly? Right. Why is this person on my mind here? And for a lot of you here, there's messages coming in. Okay, we have messages here coming in as spirit is showing us here. We have messages coming in and someone here wanting to grasp your attention or wanting to connect with you. All right, so be 
ready okay for these messages to come in for you but i will say you are in a very very beautiful place this place is is very abundant and it has a lot of potential for you to attract so many things it doesn't only have to be a relationship okay it could be work it could be new friendships it could be you know me starting new cycles or um you know, removing myself from situations that I really no longer feel like I'm needed in, to be honest, okay? I want to actually pull something from the moonology here, okay? And then we'll look deeper into these messages. What are the messages for my viewers? I just feel like this is necessary. What are the messages for my viewers at this time? I'm hearing someone messed up. I'm hearing someone messed up here and someone's feeling as if they they kept you waiting or it, it's like this is someone here that's realizing that their options didn't work out for them or something didn't work out for them. It's like this person is wondering, this person is wondering if you still... If you're still going to look at them the same, the way that you used to love them, are you going to love them the same? Are you going to have the same respect for them, I'm hearing? So this person could have done something here that possibly made you question yourself, right? Made me question my intuition. I thought you were real. I thought you were, I thought you were honest, right? All right, what is the messages here? All right. Show the world the real you. I feel like someone here wasn't being honest show the world the real you i feel like you're starting to see the truth within someone's energy spirit is saying take time to breathe here for some of you it's like i've been holding my breath waiting for someone here and i'm no longer really wanting to do that mm. a win-win outcome again as i stated for a lot of you here get ready there is look luck is on your side Luck is on your side, especially with love from what I'm getting. A lot of you here, you don't even you don't even know it. You don't even know it. There's a message that's coming in from a specific person here. And again, you could deal with this message as it comes in. All right. Everybody's message is going to be different. But I feel like someone here is going to show you who they really are here. It's like they've been very patient or waiting for the right time to express something significant to you. It's like I've been trying to tell you that... Um, you know, I've possibly been going through something, but now I've been thinking about you more than not, right? This person's been thinking about you a lot. So a lot of you could be in this, you know, place where you're very strong manifestors or you're someone that this person just can't overlook. There's something about this connection that has a very, very um, valuable, substantial lesson and message. And I feel like this is someone here that's starting to understand we have something deeper than just the intimacy, than just um, the emotional aspect. There's something deeper there. Okay. Tell me how this person is feeling at this time about my viewers. How do they feel? Detachment. All right. And confusion. What's with that? Whoever you're connecting with here, I feel like they completely detach themselves from you here. And I feel like this is someone here that's now realizing I've literally kept you waiting for a long time, but I've been confused. So I feel like someone here wants to clear up the confusion. And we will look at this in the extended in terms of what they're so confused about. What's the problem? What's the issue? Um, what's the malfunction? And we'll look deeper into that here. Okay, let's get some more clarifications. I'm actually interested in how my viewers are feeling about this situation. How does my viewers feel about this situation currently? How are my viewers feeling about this? Ooh, yeah, this is something that you are a bit nervous about. I feel like one of the things, a lot of you are picking up on this person's obsession. This person could be watching you and you don't even know it. This is someone here that I feel like that's constantly like, pulling on your energy it's like when they're at work when they're talking to other people um they could be watching you on your social media they could be constantly thinking about you it's there's something about this person wanting your energy it's like they want you to come towards them or they want you to want them just take that how that resonates but i feel like this is someone's um i feel like someone that you're connecting with is obsessing 
with you. Again, we have two clarifications of obsession here. So I feel like this is someone here that has a lot of fears and you may be picking up on this person's energy heavily here. And I feel like someone here ultimately wants to express themselves, right? They they could be someone here that tends to manipulate or they tend to not be very honest in terms of how they feel because of fear, right? God bless them. But I feel like you're picking up on that energy. Like, why am I always thinking about you? Why? All right, let's get more. Look at that. Yeah, you're feeling like this is something that possibly is over. You're very disappointed in the way things worked out here, okay? But it's so interesting because right behind your back here, you don't see the offer that's coming in for you, okay? And again, it doesn't have to be a specific person, but for a lot of you here, there's someone here that wants to offer you something. Wait for a message that comes in. Okay, we're going to clarify this confusion again, because I do feel like there's someone here in this energy that's feeling like it's over. They're feeling like love is, um, you know, not something that we're going to share any longer between the two of you here. We do have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So if you're thinking that something is over, Spirit is saying, well, we have some... <laughs> We have something that's coming in for you and you have no idea here, okay? Let's get a message and then we'll run over to the extended and have a party there, all right? We'll have a party there, yes. We will have a party at the extended. All right, it says you are a magical person. Okay, and I was feeling this earlier too. For some of you, you could be doing candle work. You could be really stepping into your spirituality. Um, there's, you know, intentions, I'm sure, that has been set for this new energy that's here. It says you are a magical person. You can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Told you. Spirit is like, listen, there's a there's an amazing message coming in for you. Be open to receiving it. All right, we'll look into what that message is, uh, message is here, and I will talk to you soon. I love you. Have a beautiful week. The King of Cups here. Whoever this person is, this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning for you. You don't have to overthink anything. You don't have to stress about anything. You don't have to get confused or anything like this. Spirit is making it very clear. We have the sun.